So first of all, I will go through with the gear progression. I'll make this bigger. So you can see better. So you already have Tetlogia and uh, you watch the video, right? You already know how to rent. Karak advanced, so I try to spend my 3 million per, per, per day. Gives me 600, 800 million per day, same AFK. That's pretty good. Uh, so how many... A so I'll go... Before gear progression, I need to ask a few more things. So your active hours and so AFK hours you can I assume you can do like 10 AFK hours and since you work from home you can check every 15 to 30 minutes and my assumption your active hours at least 5 hours 5 to 6 hours a day so with gear progression you already have uh, the gear you need for bartering so when you are editing, cooking I think is a very good option and bartering. And so you can get uh, rented tools. So rented tools from Norma uh, near uh, Wheat Plantation, which gives you 200 mastery. and plus 10% XP so these tools are good it's almost equivalent to try monos gear and it, it's pretty good to use until you get that monos so the first call is for uh, save let's say save 4 to 5 bill yeah yeah, you rent the tools from here with 50 contribution points. So in North Wheat Plantation, you rent from here. And that's uh, 200 mastery tools with 10% gathering XP. And let's say you want butcher knife, right? You go rent the butcher knife and then you need a pickaxe. You give the butcher knife back and then get the pickaxe. And if you have more than 50 contribution points, you can probably rent variety of tools so norma late is the tools and so first thing say for four to five billion and then and then get ted manos gatherers clothes so this is gonna give you 300 mastery so there's two options you can gather at Behir to get fast XP but no money and do the butchering for money and cooking and there's also another part you can do rough stones and do the cooking workshops and then with AFK time your workers will be cooking uh, your workers will be making utensils so these days I recommend players to go AFK route and make the workshops so with active hours, you can actually get the rough stones. So your first priority will be Ted Pickaxe in this instance, if you are going to go rough stone path. So Ted Pickaxe after the Ted Monos tools. And with these two items, just with the Pickaxe and the... So this one is also going to be 300 mastery. So, so in total, in total, you will get you don't enjoy rough stone gathering too much so with rough stone it gives you decent xp and decent uh, money at the same time so with herbs you won't be getting much but if you want to uh, level for xp that's fine also but you won't be making much money but you can make the money of uh, bartering that's fine as well so let's get rid of this instead of this one we will say first hoe and 
in total you will get 600 mastery from this these two items alone and then the next tool will be uh, Ted butcher knife so this is gonna be for you know gathering meat but in the meantime you can just use the rented ones it's fine so that's your meat uh, after that the next one is so you will buy try so you will skip the or prime monos you will just go straight to try monos because you have bartering to boost your income so a try monos there is one by one and then you will start with the cheapest one and ideally the belt because uh, belt gives extra weight but you can start with any any available after that cons heart so cons heart is pretty much plus 25 life mastery and that's pretty much like uh, that's pretty much like getting a Ted Manos accessory upgrade because every so from try Manos accessory to Ted Manos accessory it's only 25 and this is gonna be cheaper because uh, accessory upgrade is gonna cost you 15 billion but Khan's heart is gonna cost you 6 to 7 billion so for half price you get the same mastery so so that's your gear progression and this is this is considered a soft cap so at this stage you will get to soft cap soft cap gear for life skill uh, for in-game progression at what point do I stop getting for XP and transition to mid, like Gru1 or something, or is it more based on gear progression? So in-game progression uh, for your gathering, for example. So these are going to be your so your short-term goals gathering. And currently you are artisan one so you want to get to master 28 at master 28 you will be 1450 gathering mastery and at this level you should be making 200 million per hour from gathering so that's your short-term goal and for at pay here uh, it should take you around uh, 90 hours so what you need to do is uh, you will do a mix match you will do a bit of gathering meat a bit of gathering uh, herbs but mainly uh, for meat so your idea will be so you will rent a house in Behir town so in here So rent a house in Behir uh, so get a storage chest and cooking utensils inside and then gather herbs so in here you will be gathering herbs for XP and then you will be gathering meat so deer uh, for cooking mats and also gathering blood from deer again or elk uh, for dark pudding so the reason I say you stay at bay here so you gather herbs here and then the ships the deer around here so you gather meat from here you go cooking and then you gather herbs for XP 
and then when you need blood you can get their blood so it's all here and then when you need to buy materials you can buy it off the npc like the fruit and paprika and stuff and it's easy to transfer so if you rent a house here it will open your trend warehouse so you can actually store your materials here and then it will act you can access it there so what you need to do is uh first uh get to get to master one gathering and that's gonna take you at bay here maybe four to five hours ideally so it will take you four to five hours to get the master one and then gather meat to make uh, two weeks worth of uh, sub meals and so when I say meals uh, these are the meals I can share this spreadsheet with you as well so we will focus on cooking Ada Media Valencia or Balanos or or all of them depends so let's say you're gonna cook the media meal right main idea is always gather for XP and cook while recovering energy always use extra large energy portions even when you are cooking so you can get back to gathering as soon as possible so you will do this for two weeks uh, so in two weeks you're not gonna cook any big recipes so in two weeks time you will always cook the sub meals uh, so first what you need to do is you will go through this list and let's say you will check what what do you need you need like one of the ingredients for media meal uh, exotic herbal one right and for this you need essence of liquor so you will cook maybe like uh, 40,000 or 50,000 essence liquor and then you're gonna cook like 50,000 of this and then 50,000 of this and 50,000 of this and then two meals is ready to go and then you move on to grill sausage and then once you are done with this and then you will move on with uh, the rest like for example you will cook like 50k 40 50k vinegar and then you move on to pickle vegetables because it requires vinegar and then all you have is dark pudding and oatmeal you will get milk from side dishes you can buy or you can gather with your alt characters milk <clears throat> and then you get the sheep blood from deer as well i think media meal is pretty good start for this so in two weeks time you craft all the alt meals you will only gather meat or blood when you need it otherwise always gather herbs for quick xp keep doing bartering not bartering that's how much i know about bartering can't even spell it keep doing bartering for to get gear so since you have karak it's very good and it's it will boost up your uh, money so you don't really need to do rough stone so this this is probably gonna be best idea for you and so after two weeks you will cook a media meal and that's probably be gonna be like enough so that will be enough for one month one month uh, imperial trading and then your another short term goal is going to be cooking and that's uh, master 4 so the idea is to get to guru 1 that's your short term goal and it's gonna take you around 20 hours with like let's say pickle vegetables so if you, if you cook pickle vegetables for 20 hours it should get you to guru 1 
easily. So in that two weeks time, you will easily be Guru 1, like ASAP. And maybe after two weeks time, you will actually be like Guru 8 or something, maybe more. And then in here, so after two weeks, I've already been spamming pickle vegetables. Pickle vegetables, you lose no money. Like if you really need money, you can always sell and get your money back. But ideally don't sell. You will need a lot of pickle vegetables. And at this point, uh, you can sell the procs and use the normals for yourself. Should I only sell media meals and cook meals while in peril? So ideally you can cook any cook any guru meals. Uh, media it's just an alternative. You can cook uh, if you have milk you can cook uh, media and balanos. If you don't have milk you can cook Valencia. Media is overall is good yes. <clears throat> so and use normal meals for yourself and if you think that you can produce enough, then you can start selling extra. But after that, you should be able to just, you know, uh, mix match gathering. You know, you can, you can gather meat, you can gather meat, herbs or blood up to you. Like once, once you are master 28, it's all up to you. So once you are master 28, your next goal will be uh, Guru Guru 8. So it at here you will be 1500 mastery with that gear. So if you have uh, extra character slots like I do, for example, you can create Shai and you can delete them any any time you like. So it's free. Create Shai alt. Oh, we forgot about farming. So if you haven't done already, uh, make an alt for farming and farm pepper, onion and hot pepper. So these are the three ingredients you will need. So ideally, uh, pruning and plant breeding at least until like artisan one so it's speed up as you level up farming it will speed up your farming and after that artisan one or even like master one it's up to you so create shy alt and then because shy alt uh, starts with prof gathering you will get more milk so you will get around 600 milk per 400 450 energy so once every 10 days you should be able to gather with shy alt but uh, when you are around 400 cp you can you can actually cook for side dishes 345 to 400 so that's your short term goal uh, after two weeks of cooking all side dishes, you should be able to get 400 easy. So after 400, you can either get milk or more CP. It's up to you until uh, 424 CP. And, and then after that, you can just, just get milk. I usually like stock up 50k milk and then I use rest for CP. Energy is 4-1. Probably you want to get it to 450 at least. So it gives you more room to be AFK longer when you are bartering. 107 CP for cooking nodes and 100 CP for farming and you can you can use rest of the CP for lodging uh, you probably won't need workshops or like you know you'll probably need some for bartering and extra storage for even workshops 
for cooking. Even though you don't like uh, rough stones, you will probably need a couple workshops. At least get one or one or two so you can make your own utensils. And you don't need pickaxe, you can just rent the pickaxe to be able to uh, get the materials. If you go AFK more than 30 minutes, uh, you can process what uh, flour, dough, cheese, butter, anything you need for uh, cooking materials. You can process them at that time. Uh, great. Is there a list of stuff I should have perma pre-order? Uh, not really a list, but I usually uh, I can probably make one quickly. So you will always uh, pre-order milk. It all depends on your mastery level as well. So like I recently started buying like some of the sub meals as well. So eventually what you will do is you will buy certain things like you will buy egg, for example, you run out of egg and then you'll buy potato for as a stretch and also, you know, for flour and you might need to buy honey because you won't have enough. So anything you're missing like pepper, you can buy pepper. Uh, eventually when you are come gonna come the point you will buy like you know sub meals like whole cooked meals date palm wine fig, fig pie couscous and you know like when i cook valencia meal i buy like teff bread and i can buy fig pie date palm wine couscous if it's cheap and when it comes to a media meal i buy uh, grilled sausage lean meat salad and Pickle vegetables if it's cheap, but if it's not, I cook myself, but the rest I cook. And bolognese meal, I might buy the beer. But it comes down with the, with your mastery. You have to calculate with BDO Dye on BDO Dye based on your uh, server market prices. And then as long as you make profit by buying off the market, then you can buy and you save time. Well, ideally you want to keep your bartering and life skill characters separate if you don't mind running back and forth. If you if you don't mind, you know, running back and forth, that's okay, you can keep it. But farming is definitely going to be separate character. Uh, will you be PvPing after this stage? So once, once you get to 1500 mastery, will you be buying PvP gear? So there's two options. You can after this stage making 200 million to 300 million so at this stage you'll be making around 2 to 250 and per hour depends on your market any questions that stuck in your mind that i didn't cover thank you so much for all the advice dude i'm actually so excited to get started with this i know it's gonna be very overwhelming in the beginning to be able to figure out what you need to do exactly because there's a lot of stuff you need to cover in the beginning and hopefully after certain stage like let's say uh once you reach your short-term goals it's gonna be a lot easier like once you are master 28 and and cooking is guru and also when you have uh, one month worth of meals stocked up then it's gonna slow down a bit it's gonna be much comfortable you should always get uh, daily boss scrolls you should always get the daily ball scrolls that you get from Black Spirit and then do them once a month. Once a month. They they are gonna give you a lot of seals and also the new ones give you memory frags and capras and stuff. So and then with them you, you get uh exchange seals for blackstone armors. When you are gathering you will get a lot of uh, sharps, hearts, and black gems. So only thing you will be missing is the black stones. So use the black stones to convert them into uh, 10 million uh, concentrated magical. And then you can sell it probably around 10 to 9 million. So ideally probably 9, nine plus 5. Uh, the daily 
scrolls actually worth the time that they buffed i remember before they weren't too great uh the black stone if you do them like once a month it's okay because you get a lot of seal a lot of armor stones i just do it for the armor stones and also a change of scenery and the new ones these ones uh fog and shift and also saunil they give pretty good stuff they give like a uh, memory fragments they give capras and stuff i just get the basic ones because i don't have enough ap to kill them and sometimes i get boss drop a few times i got big and uh, i think one time i got uh, urugon and i got uh, griffon once as well you don't take the awakened one uh because i i have very low ap i don't have grinding gear and i just didn't want to rely on other players and then when it comes to grinding so we have new thing called agris probably you guys have uh, agris as well so what you need to do is uh so every day uh you get 20k agris buff so you can grind every four days 80 80k agris when it's 80k agris probably for a for two to three hours so this will increase and boost up your grinding you will always cook with silver unless you are cooking bottle neck items such as uh, milk scorpion so even at this mastery i still cook most of the meals with silver embedded instead of uh, manos uh, you only cook with manos like let's say if you are going to be afk more than two hours you can cook red sauce or dressing with manos using 5k durability so this is probably the best way to use manos clothes you can use red sauce and dressing and it will only uh it will last probably two three hours Uh, you can do that overnight, yes. Plus the processing. With Manos processing, uh, you have to check every 20 minutes technically. Maybe 30 minutes. If you are doing flour, maybe you have to check every 30 minutes. But with uh, Manos clothes, you can cook AFK using 5000 durability supreme utensils. And let's be 2-3 hours. Uh, what would you do for an 8 hour AFK? Uh, if you don't have workers that's doing something, you can just turn your PC off and go sleep and don't think about it. <laughs> that's probably the best advice I would give. With Monos, it's very hard to do anything without looking at your computer. Because processing, you have to check every 30 minutes, your inventory will be filled up. Maybe create a PvP character. Uh, and that's probably a good idea so by the time you get pvp gear it will have at least like 42 level breath or something you know that's extra stamina pvp gear 42 breath so you know how you have this breath 939 you only gain this when you walk or run so if you afk auto part run it's gonna increase the level so every level you get extra bread so i'm currently 590 so the idea is for him to get to this gear uh, so his goal his goal to reach guru 8 his goal to reach Guru 8, 15 mastery, and then start making AFK money. And then at this point, he will start getting uh, PvP gear. And then once he has his PvP gear, at least he doesn't have to worry about the bread. 
I just made this up. You, you can probably say like 40 to 40 feet. I don't know. I just made it up. Okay. Don't take it like uh, it's a uh, very accurate numbers. But you see the point. Thanks for the advice, best life skill streamer I've seen so far. Thank you for supporting the stream. That's probably the biggest donation I ever ever got. Or maybe the for a very long time. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I, I'm glad you find it useful and hopefully in a week time or two weeks time we can do a review and if you have any questions you can always ask me directly on discord any quick questions if i'm not streaming uh, lazy peon back to bdo yes it's a secret no one knows and it's gonna stay secret we'll keep it secret it yeah, sounds good i'm just gonna no life gather for the rest of the night now. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, usually usual people get pretty hyped when I tell when I tell them the numbers and tell them exactly how much they are gonna make, they are just like, hmm, this sounds pretty interesting. Maybe I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> 